Hello, everyone, and welcome to another business intelligence tip with Dashboard Gear. Today, our session is going to be on a uh, SQL Server specific item, and that is a question I get quite often, and I use this quite often as I'm building out uh, content, and that is around how do I get information about the columns in a table? Maybe I, I don't know what table something is in, or I want to know um, what fields are in there. Oftentimes I'll use these for things like building a parameter that searches the columns in a table, something like that. So um, there, like all things SQL Server, there are many ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the way that I typically use, um, and then we can go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my SQL Server uh, screen over here. And as we're over here, what I'm going to do is open up a query window. Now, the two most common ways people do it is either through a uh, actual query of either a system information view or table, or you can do a stored procedure that they provide as well. I'm just going to show you the way that I use it a lot, which is a query, um, because I'm able to join to this and do some other things that way. So I'm going to start out with a basic query that I pasted in here, and that is you can query the information schema and then there are some different items in here. And the one that we're gonna look at is called the columns. And so what I did was I said, select all from the information schema columns where the table name is. And then I gave it the name of the table that I wanna look in. So if I execute this, you're gonna see that it produces a data set that has all kinds of information about the uh, database that's there, the table, GL names in this case, and all of the columns that are in it. You'll notice this table or this result set gives you all kinds of information about the columns in it. So for instance, the company column is the first column in that table, and it is an integer or a small int in this case. You have the account unit is the second one, and that's a character field. And then it gives you some length information and so forth. So you can use this if you're building specific reports and when I dynamically build some lists of the columns available or want an idea of the sizing, if you can create some functions or formulas to auto size things based on the size of the table, you can do a lot of different things that way. So this information schema columns is there. Now you don't have to be just within one table. So for instance, I could, I could look for any place where um, the column name is across any table. So instead of looking at a specific table, I could say something like column name where the column name is equal to, um, let's do chart section, chart section. Oops. Column name is equal to chart section. And what this will show me are all of the different objects, in this case, different views that I've got and tables and so forth, where the chart section column exists. So if you want to find all the tables that have a particular column name, you can use this to search for a column and it'll show all of the objects that have that and some other things. Now within this information schema, you can look for other things like there's a tape, there's tables out here, there's uh, table usage, there's some constraints. And if I take it off altogether, you'll see a bunch more. You can get information about domains and check constraints and parameters and all kinds of fun stuff within it. So this information schema is a complete treasure chest of, of information that way. But I'm going to today's topic was purely around columns. So that's what I use uh, whenever I'm searching for uh, a column or want to know information about the data type or size and so forth. And this is pretty much what SQL Server does in Management Studio as you're going through there and displaying information. They're using the tools within themselves to display this as well. Now, there are some additional extended events and so forth that you can do. And you'll want to look up the um, data management views is one of the things that you can look up uh, in you know, your search engine of choice. Um, but typically, I can find what I want right in this information schema uh, columns. Now, um, so that's, that's really what all I wanted to show you today was um, what you can do to look up columns in the database. Hopefully you found this interesting and, and uh, as a quick tip. And next time you get stuck knowing what columns are in a table or the information about that, you can pull out this query and, 
and go from there. Thank you for attending today. And, and as always, if you do have any suggestions, uh, feel free to um, share them with us at Dashboard Gear, as I'd love to uh, get some more topics for you and help you out where you can. So until next Friday, everyone, good luck on your reporting.